What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. This is going to be quite a long video. Today I am ranking finally every Super Smash Bros. DLC character. This is the video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And now that Sora released, it's finally time for me to rank all the DLC characters. This is my personal opinion by the way, so please do not get mad if your favorite is lower or just above another. This is my personal opinion. I do like all of the DLC in their own ways. I'm not forced to like them all or anything, but they have their own they have they have their own ups and downs and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm going to count prom plans. All Prop plants, all past one, all past two. I ranked the base game newcomers, and now it's time for the DLC. So here we go. Without further ado, let's -a go. Yeah, you guys probably expected this one on the bottom. Unfortunately, y'all know me already. Byleth is my least favorite, still to this day, is my least favorite DLC character. That doesn't mean I dislike Byleth or anything. I think Byleth did deserve the spot in Smash. The problem, I think, in my opinion, is that the timing, the, by far, they revealed Byleth at a bad timing, no doubt, because really, it was just terrible. Everyone was expecting the Fire Pass 1 to end with a huge third-party character. We got four third parties in a row to end on a character like this. If Terry and Byleth switch places, I bet the reaction, I don't think changing Byleth's placement would change the reactions, but I think changing, switching up Byleth and Terry would be fair, because let's be real, even if Byleth wasn't the final character, what if Byleth was the final character? Like, for real. I'll be happy I got Banjo, of course, but people still acting like, I guess I was wrong about Pass 2 ending on a on a low note, but yeah, so, sorry my nose. But other than that, um, yeah, people like, people are like, it has to be a huge banger, then we got Byleth, honestly. Now, I have played Fire Emblem Three Houses, and it's a pretty good game. I do recommend it, by the way. And as far as everything else, the music it, the, 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 the music is cool. I only listen to the title theme. As far as the Moose is concerned, I haven't played Byleth in a bit, and I'm kind of bad with them, honestly. Or her. It doesn't matter which one. But regardless, Byleth did deserve the spot. I don't care what people say. No character deserves anything, but I will admit Byleth being the mo one of the most fun characters. I most The only Fire character I really play is Ike. But, I think Byleth made sense, honestly, so yeah. And the stage is- I don't really like the stage, personally, but other than that, Byleth, I can understand. Still my least favorite, but that doesn't mean I hate them, by the way. Alright, I'm probably going to get hate with this one. Joker is a character I never cared for, at all. I mean, Joker's cool and all, but I think people just overhype him, acting like he's the best addition or something. Besides the competitive side, I just find him a bit overhyped in my opinion. The trailer is cool, the the one of the game wars, not the gameplay one. His moveset is okay for the most part. Some people did complain about his moveset, and I can understand. And I think Joker and Smash was a mistake. Some fans, if I want to interact with fans of Persona, they can just be weird and stuff. Which is why, I mean, you shouldn't let the internet affect your opinion on a character, but I just think it would have been better if Joker wasn't the first. Also, although he was a great addition, I think Joker being the first character made, made people set un, un expectations for other characters, honestly. I really think a first probably should have been the first DLC. Hot take, I know. But other than that, Joker's cool, I just don't play him often, he's just whatever to me. I don't know, and the gimmick is cool, I guess, but I haven't played Persona, but whatever. And, uh, the, the stage is really cool, I'll give it that, and the music is nice too, so, I get some pluses there, but other than that, I don't really care for Joker in the slightest. If y'all happy you got Joker, I'm happy for Persona fans, other than that, probably the only DLC third-party character I do not care for, and as for if I'm gonna play Persona game or not, only the future will tell. For now, I got no future plans. Despite being one of the most fun characters in Smash Brothers, I'll have to admit, you're probably wondering why I put Pyra and Mithra this low on the list. Well, for one thing, I'll admit the Moose as fun, although I have played Xenoblade 2 now, by the way. I will admit that the other characters are just better, that's all. I like Pyra slash Mithra, but it's just the other DLCs are just better in their own ways and stuff. I'll admit the Moose as fun, the music is cool, I guess. The stage, I don't really like the stage personally, but I know Xeoblade fans got cucked in the beginning of the base game when Rex got me costume. 
So this was worth it in my opinion. Although people hate the, these characters because people assuming liking these characters because people are horny for them or something like that. That's not the case at all. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, they're cool, I guess. Uh, they only rank this low because I prefer the art DLC. And also the trailer just kind of sucked. Abive is still my least favorite, but this trailer is just drag- I hate these trailers that drag on for so long with dialogue and stuff. So, yeah. But other than that, Parasite and Mithra, they're cool, I guess. They're just this low because I really didn't like the trailer. And also, in terms of my reaction, I was disappointed. I, I was just, eh, cool, I guess. So, yeah. But other than that, yeah, they're cool. This trailer was something else back then. Back when I saw a bunch of Mark, I was like, is it Gino? Is it Waluigi? Is it Toad or something? And then when I saw this part, around this part, it was a prop plant, and then boom, prop plant was a playable character. I was like, what? <laughs> this is the one character no one saw coming. The biggest, probably my favorite out of all the WTF characters we've gotten, honestly. Even though I want Gino and kind of Waluigi, this was funny as hell. The only downside why I plan is this low. I mean, at least it's a free DLC, so it makes sense. He does take up a fire pass. Otherwise, people will be calling plant a wasted, wasted slot. But other than that, this was a funny reveal. Um, the Final Smash reference is pretty cool. Other than that, sometimes I'll play Plants, sometimes I really don't. But yeah, definitely one of the my definitely my favorite in terms of the WTF characters we have gotten in the Smash series. So yeah. Gonna be honest, y'all, I don't have much experience with SNK and stuff. And, um, and those traditional fire games, I'm just pretty garbage at. <laughs> but Terry made sense to join Smash, and I understand. And why is this low? Because, well, I'm not very good with Terry. The stage, the music are amazing by, by far. Although, maybe this trailer was cool. I, I, like, at least it dragged on, like, you know, trying other characters to see who gets the letter. It's pretty cool. Definitely, um, pretty cool. Wait, open the trailer. And, uh, yeah, definitely pretty big, honestly, and, and since Sakura has a huge attachment to Terry, it made sense for him to join Smash, honestly, and, hey, the music's pretty cool and stuff. Um, the commands and stuff, yeah, I think that's all I really gotta talk about for Terry, honestly. The only reason why he's this low, because I'm really the least, another third-party character I'm least familiar with. I did try S and one of them, but I, I was really bad with them, maybe I'll try the other ones or something, but other than that, I was pretty bad with Terry. I was pretty bad with the games, but Terry's cool, and I like playing him, so yeah, pretty fun character in my opinion. Next up we have are the DLC characters I enjoy playing a lot, we're getting to the good DLC characters in my opinion, my favorite ones I love playing. Uh, Hero from Dragon Quest, although I wanted Geno at the time, although I kinda like wasn't all that... Back then, I didn't support GL all that because of the spirits and stuff before Min Min joined. Hero was interesting to me. I didn't have a crazy reaction to Hero, but when I played him in Smash, he was just such a fun character with the RNG and stuff. Honestly, Hero's a pretty fun character in the game. And although his representation is lacking because of licensing issues, I'll admit, uh, Hero definitely deserved the spot in Smash Brothers for sure. Dragon Quest needed some representation, right? And, um... I played Dragon Quest XI. It's honestly one of my favorite games of all time. Please try it out. It's a fantastic game, honestly. As for the trailer itself, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I have much to say, honestly. The only... I don't have much problems besides the lack of representation, honestly. So yeah, Hero was a great addition to Smash. I know probably people rank it pretty low because they're not familiar with the series and stuff. But regardless, Hero was a great addition, honestly. A pretty fun character to play as, so yeah. And now we have, by far, probably the most controversial DLC character. Maybe more controversial than Byleth? Eh, I don't know. Min Min from ARMS. Now, as when I saw this, I was pretty excited because I, I, I was like, I wanted the ARMS rep in the base game and I kind of lost hope. Although, the only... Although, I can understand why people were upset and stuff, because... If you, tr if you enjoy Min Min, <laughs> people will get mad at you or something. Other than that, the trailer is pretty cool. I like the style of it. Uh, Min Min's one, basically Min Min is, was my main in ours. I'm so happy it was her. And uh, yeah, the music's pretty, although the music that was added was pretty much the entire soundtrack. The ARMS music still holds up well to this day, honestly. 
And um, yeah, I think Minmin was a great addition for DLC. Eh, I can understand for base game. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, I think Minmin being the base game would have been a lot better. Regardless, I'm so glad she got added. She is a pretty controversial character. As for the stage, yeah, I really love it. As for the moveset, set, well, yes, it's my least favorite. In well, yes, Minmin is my least favorite to play as compared to the other DLC. That doesn't mean. I still like enjoying her. I mostly play her in free for alls. I do not. I will never ever play her in battle arenas unless someone's okay with it. And honestly, I don't remember a time I went against Min Min and I had trouble. So maybe it's just me. I never had problems against Min Min. I probably happened once, but <laughs> I don't know. But regardless, I love Min Min. Cry about it. <laughs> And now we have probably my favorite fighting game character that got added, Kazuya. I really don't see... Pe people rank Kazuya pretty low, to be honest. It's probably because they're not familiar with Tekken, I guess. I mean, I've only played one Tekken game as well, but I'm going to admit that Kazuya is one of the most fun characters to play as. And Namco getting another rep was worth it. I'm glad it wasn't Lloyd, to be honest, as much as, as, much as I feel bad for the fans. I'm glad it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't want another... It would have been all JRPGs besides Mimin and Steve. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad we got Kazuya, um, pretty fun character to play as, the music is so damn good, um, the moveset that I really love, the trailer itself, I don't know, I mean, dropping, Kazuya dropping the fighters down was pretty cool, but if you're looking back, compared to other trailers, it's, I guess it's decent, other than that, yeah, um, the stage is really cool as well, and the representation was great, honestly. So, yeah, Kazuya is this high because he's a fun character to play, and I used to t play Tekken back then. So, yeah, <laughs> really love Kazuya. Alright, now we're getting to the real good stuff. Of course, the number four is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. You gotta know how... You gotta admit that I thought this trailer was gonna show Cinderace because of the fire. Man, I was that concerned if it was gonna be a Pokemon or not. But regardless, Cinderace, uh, pfft, Cinderace, Sora <laughs> was by far the best way to end DLC. As much as I want to crash Bandicoot or Waluigi or something, honestly, I'm not sure if I really want to crash in future games anymore. As for Waluigi, he was an assist trophy, so it's understandable. I can't talk Waluigi for a bit, honestly. But regardless, Sora was by far the perfect way to end Smash DLC. He was a requested character. Apparently won the ballot. I don't know. I don't know, I guess Kiro got the most votes. Either way, Sora was perfect and Smash. That's for the representation we have right now. I mean, I didn't expect too many songs and stuff, but save it for the last character. I really did make that Sora video saying, save it for the last character. And I was right! Let's go! <laughs> and yeah, I'm so glad Sora got added. As for the moveset, the time recording this, I have to get used to it, to be honest. But regardless, Sora was perfect the way to end Smash, and I'm so happy he got added. I'll play Kingdom Hearts one day, but... Man, I'm so happy he got it. And honestly, that trailer was just beautiful, to be honest. So, yeah. And now we have by far one of the biggest reveals in Smash history. The one that literally broke Twitter. Steve from Minecraft. Although I haven't played Minecraft in quite some time, Steve really did deserve to be in Smash, to be honest. Like, he was a character that I thought wasn't going to happen. He's from the best-selling game of all time, for crying out loud. Seeing Mario and Steve in the same game is just wild to me. I'm so happy this happened. I didn't- Steve wasn't even in my top 10 most wanted characters. Probably because I dealt with toxic fans. But, regardless, Steve was just amazing. By far one of the best trailers as well. Like, <laughs> like everyone lost their shit when this happened. Some people were kind of disappointed, but other than that, Steve was by far one of the best additions. As far as the representation, the music really did suck because of licensing issues. As far as playing as, I slowly stopped playing Steve, I'm not very good with them. But, I'll admit, <laughs> this was fantastic. I'm so surprised this happened. Minecraft Steve is by far one of the best additions in Smash history. Besides the Musa, I do not like going against him. <laughs> And now at number two, we have by far probably the best trailer in Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC, to be honest, besides maybe Banjo. But this one was concerning. I was like, who is this? Because it's just it's just, just Bill S. Trailer. So many characters by Gleam and stuff. I saw Rosalie, that was the biggest highlight for me. Um there were 
There was some going on, but when I heard the one wing angel play, I was like, Sephiroth? And I was so shocked this happened. We got another Final Fantasy character. Now, he's only at number two because although I did say he's my favorite, it's we'll, we'll talk about number one. Although, I think it's because he's only at number two because he kind of deconfirmed my most wanted character besides King Cable, which was uh, Geno, by the way. Although, I'll admit, Sephiroth was a bigger deal because, because Final Fantasy really lacked. And honestly, it's way better now. So, yeah. And the music is amazing. The trailer was just pretty much perfect, to be honest. So, yeah. I like how he just... He doesn't... He didn't, he didn't even get a smash in, but he just showed up. I love trailers like that, honestly. So, yeah. Saffron by far one of the best dishes. As far as the moveset, yeah. He's really fun to play as, in my opinion. Probably the most fun out of all the DLC. So, yeah. I had to put these characters, or these characters, at number one. Banjo and Kazooie. He, they, were, they were my third most wanted character when I started Smash Ultimate, started wanting characters to Smash Ultimate. By far, I was so excited when they finally joined Smash. Banjo Kazooie is one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games ever, and I can't wait to play it again on the Switch. I'll admit, Banjo and Kazooie was perfect, although he's a bit controversial nowadays, at least on Capesta. Although, I don't know, I probably. Either way, I'm so happy Banjo got smashed. There's so many references and stuff. Although, I'll admit, let's talk about the moveset. I understand people don't like the moveset. Yes, there are people out there. I really felt like I had the worst experience with Weebs. Because they act like, why, why Banjo is your favorite when his moveset isn't that great? He just fits my playstyle, honestly. The most fun is subjective, but regardless, Banjo pretty much fits my playstyle, honestly. It's not like he needed a gimmick, after all. It feels like he's been in Smash. Will he be better in the base game? Maybe, but I don't understand the whole... Uh, this fire stream in base game and people acting like Byleth having three weapons is the coolest thing ever. Like, <laughs> I don't get it, man. All right, enough complaining. I'm so happy Banjo got in Smash. Oh, that's a great. It was it, that was a great moment for me. And that's it, y'all. I ranked every DLC character. The, expect the alts video sometime soon. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more. Later, folks.